Welcome to the Raw Food Health Empowerment Podcast. I'm your host, Samantha Salmon, Certified Integrative Nutrition Coach and Brain Health License Trainer. And today we're talking about happiness on the scale, how I lost weight without losing joy. And ultimately, what helped to give me joy is finding a workout routine that works for me, that helps me get to my goal. My goal was to release excess body fat, even though I was within my healthy weight range. Weight range, I was on a journey to increase muscle, and I looked at my body composition. It was over 30%. My goal was to get it down to 25. I've now adjusted my goal to get it to 24. But basically, how I was able to do that was with low steady state cardio and strength training, and my my low steady state cardio of choice is walking and i enjoy walking so much because i'm in such a beautiful environment in central florida specifically orlando which is beautiful my neighborhood is gorgeous we have such gorgeous landscaping and the birds and the the all the animals mostly the birds we have the squirrels but all these different types of birds and they're just so lovely to watch. I really enjoy it. Like the weather is perfect. The sun is always out for the most part. And the just the weather is just perfect. Like it's just all around perfect. I get so much enjoyment from being outside and walking. This is very much for my mental health more than anything else. Like I exercise for my mental health. I also exercise for my digestive health, which we, we talked about all of that in my beat stress eating training that I recently hosted at the beginning of April. So stay tuned for the next time I run that training. If you are interested in learning about any upcoming trainings that I'm doing, you want to make sure you're on my email list and you get on there by downloading the healthy food digestion or recipe book that is on rawfoodmealplanner.com. Yeah. And in terms of strength training, I enjoy the way I've the way I've come to enjoy strength training like in the beginning was hard first it was like a new exciting thing then it got really hard because when you start I specifically do progressive overload and it really taxes the body because you're you are pushing the muscle to its max and it can be very tiring right you literally just want to sleep more because the, the muscle is breaking down it needs to repair and it just wants it wants you to be in a state the body wants to be in a state of rest so it could it could do this work and in the beginning it was hard but i was highly motivated to my goal and then when that started to slip but i've always like when i work out i always try to find ways to help to make it fun that's like my main thing all the time and i have a specific playlist that helps get my mind for the workout but also for the day for whatever goals that i'm looking to achieve and just in life in general and so i play my playlist while i do my strength training and it makes it enjoyable for me and then i recently signed up to work with a trainer so that i can have more personal interaction with folks because i do a lot of my work remotely and having a social life outside of that is in central florida is quite interesting because there's not too many people here really gathering folks are gathering in church in physical church which i don't really attend physical church here in Central Florida at this time. But there is a church that I may check out at some point. But yeah, so I haven't really been here long enough to really like create community on that level. I did at one point have a space in Lo Lake Nona that I was regularly going to, but I don't travel that far anymore. <clears throat> so I'm doing the best I can here and basically connecting with folks here and my trainer is like my first kind of way to get into that here in Central Florida in Orlando. Now, traditional weight loss approaches, they will have you like restrict with restrictive diets. And I don't know this whole concept of restrictive diet. I always I give a, a side eye because what's restrictive to people? <laughs> Some people may think that even veganism is restrictive or raw foods is restrictive. But honestly, like we talked about during the beat stress eating training, 
someone asked a question about like intermittent fasting. And so I talk a lot about intermittent fasting because I think it's an amazing tool. Fasting just in general, what we are learning in the research of fasting about the body's amazing healing mechanism. I find it so fascinating. It's like all of that th that the body can do literally if we just pause from eating for a second. There's just so much, like literally the body creates stem cells to create new cells, to regenerate and renew tissue. It's amazing, it's, it's just amazing. So all we really need to do is make sure the body has what it needs to thrive. And some folks would say, oh, intermittent fasting, time-restricted eating, raw food eating, vegan eating, that's restrictive. And in my eyes, it's not restrictive because <clears throat> you're supposed to be eating to satisfaction and loving and enjoying what you eat, which is what I do. I love food. I love flavor. Even just today, I made myself a, like, taco meat, raw vegan taco meat made from sunflower seeds, coconut aminos, some spices, I put basil leaves in there. What else did I put in there? And I, and I put it in a wrap of nori. It was hyper, like highly hyper palatable, right? <laughs> Very tasty. I only had two of these little mini wraps, right? On a volume basis, it wasn't a lot, but it's nutrient dense. So with water, I definitely feel satisfied. I don't feel over full and I don't feel hungry. I just feel satisfied, which is a good place to be. Especially since I talk to a lot of people who have digestive issues, they're dealing with IBS, they're dealing with a lot of gas and bloating. This is a good place to be with your diet. And then when you eat raw foods, or you're doing high raw and incorporating intermittent fasting or some longer fast, just for whatever specific health goals you may have, you will find that the strength training on top of that, you get to your goal weight so much faster, right? With with much ease. Over a 16 month period, I dropped five percentage body fat. Okay. I dropped five percentage body fat over 5% in 16 months. And I couldn't believe it had been 16 months because I wasn't, I was just enjoying my life. When you know something is going to take time. I tell, I tell people all the time, right? When they come to me, they're looking to release excess fat. Maybe they have 50 pounds to lose. I say, it's safe to lose a pound to two pounds a week. So if you're looking to lose 50 pounds, give yourself a year to allow yourself to get to that goal. And so since you are spending a year on this, make it fun and enjoyable. Because even when you reach your goal, you're going to want to continue. Because we're not supposed to be sedentary and we're not supposed to eat trash. The body doesn't work if we're loading it with trash. One of the major reasons why I exercise, both strength training and low steady state cardio, is for my own mental health and well-being. Like literally, being emotionally stable is a value. It's an asset. It is, this is what allows for you to have harmonious relationships, to have a fulfilling and joyful life. And when you have these things, money, gets magnetized to you, right? So your wealth building capabilities is magnetized with all of this. It all starts from inside, right? You gotta take care of yourself. We talk about in the training, Beat Stress Eating, we talked about the primary foods and the secondary food is the actual food that you eat, that you consume. So on this show, you've heard us talk a lot about raw foods and high raw vegan clean eating, but the primary foods, which are the non-food sources where you get your energy from, this is your spirituality, consistent physical uh, activity, routine, a fulfilling career in harmonious relationships. All of these things are critical. This is where we get our energy, where we get our fuel. And I find physical activity to just allow for all of the primary foods to, to work properly. So my physical activity, I engage with spirituality because when I do my walks outside, I am in so much gratefulness and gratitude for the gift of nature, of these animals that I, I just, I love seeing them like a family of cranes, like going out, looking for food together, a family of ducks playing in the water. It's so precious and lovely to watch and to see. I just love watching them. I just love 
watching what God has created, it's a beautiful thing. What God has created is beautiful. It's wondrous. It's amazing. The environment outside and also the environment inside. I get to study it through my work, the brain, the body, how it works, how it's self-healing and preserving and how we can get in our own way. We get in our own way and we get in the way of the environment because humans can be the best and the worst, right? There's the whole scope, which is amazing. But so on my physical activity, I'm also en engaging my spirituality. Then from the career piece, it's on these walks and even during my strength training that my uh, brain is getting so much blood flow and my hippocampus is, my uh, cerebellum is getting bigger, right? Because the when you strengthen your lower body and you build those muscles, your brain actually gets bitter, bigger. So you get smarter, more intelligent. And what's happening for me is I come up with creative ideas to maybe some challenges or obstacles that I'm facing. I, ha I always have an aha moment, some inspiration that comes from taking that time to actually practice the self-care. And then when it comes to harmonious relationships, again, because blood flow is going to my temporal lobes and to my prefrontal cortex, my basal ganglia, I feel safe. I feel safe. My nervous system is calmed down. My, my, the temporal lobes and the prefrontal cortex is getting the blood flow and nutrients that it needs so that when I'm engaging with people, I can give them the tea. Okay, the T that creates strong bonds and relationships. What is it? Time, energy, and attention. I'm able to hold space for them because I've already filled my cup. I filled my cup. I have the patience because I have nurtured my brain. I can sit still and focus on them and give them my time, energy, and attention because I have served and nourished and taken care of my own brain. The brain allows you the capacity, right? A healthy brain allows you the capacity to hold space for other people. And that's honestly how you build a harmonious relationship is through the T, right? The T, time, energy, and attention. I'm telling you, this is game for any relationship that you are trying to build. This is the key. So I just encourage you, if you are trying to get started Really focus on the positive. Try to shift your mindset. We went through in the beat stress eating training a whole practice of killing the ants, the automatic negative thoughts that hold us back from reaching the goals that we want to achieve. I have talked to people who are saying, I want to eat clean, but I'm afraid that I will be the odd one out. I'm afraid that if I lose this weight, my face is going to sag. Even though I have some health conditions that I really need to be eating this way, I'm concerned that I have fear that I'm, I'm afraid of being the only one, right? The only one. I want other people to eat clean and be healthy and, and I'm not there yet because they're not there yet. I'm waiting on them. So we talked about becoming a leader, right? And for all of you listening, where my sheep dogs at? Okay, this is a reference to the beat stress eating training. Where my sheep dogs at? Let yourselves be known in the chat, my sheep dogs. But you want to step up into leadership and then also... We got to work on killing the ants. And when it comes to being able to have a consistent exercise routine, whatever stories or thoughts are coming up, maybe you're, you have thoughts that I'm too tired, it's the end of the workday, I don't have time, whatever it is, we got to kill the ants and, and focus the mind in a positive way, solutions oriented, building a plan, going through that follow through uh, formula that we talked about on the beat stress eating training to get ourselves to the goal because that is the that's the goal right if you have a health goal for 2024 i'm assuming that's why you're watching this that's why you're following me you're looking for support on that journey i am here to support you and this is how we do it this is how we do it hey this is how we do it this is the strategy for joyful weight loss all right if you're interested in learning more Head on over to rawfoodmealplanner.com, book a coaching session with me, and let's get you started on the journey to where you're trying to be in 2024 with your health and longevity. Thank you, and until next time.